This is what happens when you walk 5, 30, and 60 minutes. Do you know walking is one of the world's best medicine? It's one of the most overlooked activities that's extremely beneficial to your health. Today there are so many means of transportation that have taken the place of walking. They allow us to take less and less steps each day, and that's not good. It's critical for us to walk more. Those overlooked steps are essential for our overall health and wellness. Look, you should know that the body creates chemical changes the longer you walk. Once you realize these benefits, you'll be inspired to walk more. The good thing is, there are a whole lot of opportunities for us to walk every single day. You can decide to walk to the grocery store instead of drive, or walk to lunch instead of taking the wheels. Right now, we're going to explore how walking for 5, 30, or even 60 minutes can transform your health and make you feel great. Sounds good? Let's get to it. What happens when you walk for 1 to 5 minutes? The moment you step out of the door to take your first steps, your body will release energy-producing chemicals to fire you up for the walk. When you start walking, your heart rate will increase from 70 to 100 beats per minute. This beneficial change warms the muscles and boosts blood flow. You'll also find that stiffness reduces, and this is all thanks to the lubricating fluid that your joints produces. This will help you move more easily. At this point, your body starts to burn up to 5 calories per minute. Fats and carbohydrates will be used as fuel to burn energy. 6 to 10 minutes. At this time period, your heartbeat goes all the way from 100 to 140 beats per minute, and you'll start burning up to 6 calories per minute. Right now, your blood pressure will spike up a little, but still gets countered by the release of chemicals that expand blood vessels. This then supplies more blood and oxygen to working muscles. Look, as you walk more, your body, heart, and cardiovascular system will have what it takes to maintain resiliency and your blood pressure lowers in the long run. 11 to 20 minutes. Right now, your body temperature increases, and that's a good thing. Why? Well, it's primarily because you begin to sweat and the blood vessels near the skin expand to release heat. As your walk becomes more intense, you'll burn up to seven calories per minute and breathe deeper than before. At this point, two hormones, epinephrine and glucagon, rise to fuel your muscles. For the most part, epinephrine is an adrenaline hormone that provides relief to asthma attacks and allergic reactions. It's actually sold in drugstores. The good news is you can get it for free after a 20-minute walk. 21 to 45 minutes. This is the point where your body releases more tension and relaxes further. This typically happens as a result of the release of endorphins in your brain. The good thing is you'll get to burn more fat at this stage and insulin levels drop significantly. This is great for people looking to shed excess weight, so be sure to keep up if you're one of them. 45 to 60 minutes. At this point, you're exceeding all previous benefits for longer, boosting blood flow, burning more calories, and oxygenating your body. It's also good to know that you're also fortifying your heart, losing unhealthy fat, strengthening your immune system, increasing vitamin D levels since you're in the sun, and feeling great. Moreover, studies have shown that walking is just as effective as antidepressants. It eases stress and anxiety. Who wouldn't want to experience these amazing benefits? The bottom line, try as much as possible to walk more often. You can even turn it into a daily routine. Your body will feel great at the end of the day, and that's what matters. Happy walking!